Okay, let's talk about folders in Lightroom and learn how to manage them. I'll move my right panel out of the way manually by clicking on this little triangle over here. And move to the folders triangle and click it. You'll see primary drive A. That's my host site for the JFC archive folder. If I twirl this triangle down, I see all the subfolders associated with it. The Peter Fisher Corbis Photography, the Balloon Fest, the Australian Photographic Journey, and so forth. So in working with the Balloon Fest folder, let's say I want to rename the folder. It's quite easy. Highlight the folder, right-click on the mouse, and say Rename. You'll be presented with a dialog box that wants you to rename the folder. I'll change it to Fiesta and hit Save. Now Fiesta Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta is now the name of the folder even on the system level, not just within Lightroom. Okay, if I'd like to rename an image, it's quite easy. I'll select a few. I'll select this top row. And if we go to Library, Rename Photos, I can put the word Fiesta in, custom name with sequence. I've got a variety of other presets to work with, and you can create your own, of course. Fiesta and a start number of one. I say OK. Note the change in the file names now associated with the top row. This happens again on the system level as well as within Lightroom. OK, let's move to another folder and this time we're going to create a subfolder. So I'm going to move to the Australian Photographic Journey Workshop. And in this folder I'd like to select all the people and participants. So I'm, I'll select these two top rows. Don't need this one. And I'll move to the folder panel. Do you see where the plus sign is? I'm going to say add subfolder. I'm going to name this folder workshop participants and we're going to include the selected photos. Just hit create. Now what this does is creates a subfolder within the Australian photographic journey and if you'll look right here I'll twirl down this triangle and there it is isolating the nine images that I just worked with. Okay, let's talk about creating another subfolder. So if I go to the top directory folder, Australian Photographic Journey, right up to the plus sign again, add subfolder. And this time I want to create a folder called locations. And say create. Notice that I didn't check include selected photos. So if I hit create, it creates a subfolder within. And it says locations, but zero images associated with it. So here's what I can do is I can select a series of location images that I want to include with this folder. So I'm just moving around and I'm selecting randomly within the grid by using the command key or, or the control key on the PC. And notice that if I drag and drop these images and take them over to the locations folder and let go, they'll now be moved. Now these are being physically picked up and moved on your hard drive to the new locations folder. Very cool. Now in this piece associated with folders, what I'd like to do is create a folder on another hard drive. Notice that the only hard drive associated with Lightroom currently is the primary drive A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl up this window here. I'm going to go over here to where it says folders and again the plus folder. And so instead of adding subfolder, to an existing folder directory, I'm going to say add folder. And what this does is brings me to the system level navigation. So I'm going to move to this little backup thumb drive I have and I'm going to create a new folder on here called test and hit create. And once I've created it, I'll choose it. Now it becomes associated with the structure of the folder and if, you, if I twirl this down, I have a test folder on another hard drive. So if I wanted to move some images to an existing hard drive that I have plugged in, and I've identified it by the add folder, I can easily just grab, let's say, the blurry color images folder here, and make it a subfolder of the test by just dragging and dropping, and it will move these files over. Now what it doesn't do is it doesn't copy it. It physically picks it up and moves it from the primary A drive to the backup 4 gig thumb drive right here. Now that's cool. No duplication of the files, just moving the files to a new hard drive. So if I needed to move the Chicago folder off 
the primary A drive and move it over here. I could put it in the test folder here, drag it and drop it, and say move. And now I've got those images associated with Chicago, Illinois, blurry color images. Okay. Now if I want to bring them back, this is kind of cool, and I can just select both folders with the shift key enabled and drag them back to the directory folder called JFC Archive, let go, and we're going to be moving them again. And we don't have any images associated with the test folder on the backup 4 gig thumb drive. Now to eliminate a folder, since I've just created this little test folder, I can highlight the folder and then I can hit the minus sign and that will eliminate or remove the folder. It removes the path to the backup hard drive as well. Okay, in the next segment we'll look at resolving question marks in Lightroom. So I'll talk a little bit about deleting photos and recovering photos that you may have moved on the system level and synchronizing folders.